And we're live. Hey, everybody out there. Uh, welcome to the show. I'm Marijuana Man, and this is uh, Wednesday from Under the Seed Desk. So, welcome. I'm um, joined at the desk. We have desk today. We have we got a, a table. desk. We're a little higher today. Can you get them to turn that music off? Thanks. Ah, we have house music going. I'm um, joining with me, as always, is Al the Alchemist. Hi. And Kush Queen in between. Hola, hola. And all you people out there hola. in chat, welcome uh, to the show. We have uh, house music distracting the shit out of me. Hello, darling. No, I have other things down, distracting me. <laughs> now it's not the house music. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. Take, take my mind off it. Um, yeah. It's Wednesday here in Vancouver. <coughs> We're uh, <coughs> live from uh, high atop Mark Emery's CCHQ here in uh, Vancouver, 307 West Hastings, uh, where in the back of the store okay. we have a seed desk at Vancouver Seed Bank. Yes, we do. Thanks a lot to Dylan uh, coming to join us today so I could come up and do the show. We do Thanks, have Dylan. another camera in the house that would feature Jeremiah today, too. So he's uh, looking after the dials and... Uh, Hi, Paw TV. I like he's looking, looking handsome dials. today, you guys. Oh, oh good thank you, Kush Queen. Thing. That's so nice of you. Yeah, well. And there's Jody. Hi, Jody. Hi, Jody. Jody Ember in the house. Uh, We'd like to welcome... Uh, uh, what? Not to the Cannabis like Culture <laughs> BCMP <laughs> Lounge is Miss Jody Emery. Yeah, so um, yeah, we got a uh, bunch of people in the chat uh, slamming along with us. Thanks for joining us, and um, do check out all our past episodes in the vault, if you will. In none the vault? The what? Dress, <laughs> no, none. I <laughs> look at vault. any that Kush Queen has a <laughs> dress on, just so you know. <laughs> I'm gonna go and look at each one of those, make sure. How You'll you have don't to time see those. Down that's and right. Like three minutes. To yeah. <laughs> so things keep chugging along here in Vancouver in the world of marijuana. The uh, city of Vancouver is still uh, pretending to be a government. <laughs> put, they got a, <laughs> a new board game, government. It's called. So they're. Uh, that's how they're making all their decisions. <laughs> yeah. That's so fun. rolling the dice. Roll they're, the dice. <laughs> their dice only has ones on it. So they t it's take going to take a very long time. Okay. No. And all they of have the short little legs. All of the little characters they use are past mayors of Vancouver. All the Campbells. Just Campbells. Past Campbell mayors. So they, it's a fun board game. Hmm. It'll be available they to They want to be Larry. Penny Bollum is apparently selling them. So you can uh, contact Penny. <laughs> Maybe she needs. We could give her a job. <laughs> no, she doesn't need a job. She, I know she's got more money than everybody put together now. Fuck. So Penny Ballum, the city manager, was uh, let go, given a five hundred fifty thousand dollar severance package, which is uh, well beyond the severance package of any other government employee. Like it's, she must have it's twenty stuff. months. Of severance is what they've given this person who makes three hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year. They've given them twenty months severance. Now, the, anybody else working for uh, any level of government gets eighteen months tops, and it's generally not much more than six. But here's another thing about the city manager of Vancouver. Most other big cities in Canada, their city manager is under contract, so there's an end date. All right, so Penny didn't have an end date. What? She just had a severance date because yeah. someday she was going to get severance. Yeah. Right? There was no way around it. And Gregor Robertson knows this because he fired her predecessor to give her the job and paid her predecessor $500,000 in severance. Now, he made no effort whatsoever to change the regulations here to advance the notion because he fully well knew that when he had to get rid of Penny, he was going to have to pay severance. He did nothing to try to stop this 
huge flow bless you. and bless you. Thanks. You did nothing to stop this no huge flow of money out of the taxpayer's pocket, for fuck's sakes. These people are crooked, 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 every fucking one of them. It makes Jesus. me wonder why, what it is that Penny Ballum is doing that's worth so much. Is she working that much harder than a garbage it, it, man? It, it, or? For, for me, it just makes me wonder what she knows that's worth so well, much. Well, and bingo. Because okay. with severance, usually comes like some sort of non-disclosure about your job. Oh, of course. Right. Well, and not only that, but I imagine that the just argument... Just saying. Just it, saying. Just another angle. Like, are we really that worried <laughs> that we won't get somebody for... Like, why do they have to pay her a half of mil, half a mil? Or, you know, in every year that's, she gets 300000 plus. That's the regulation. Yeah. This is why all of these people at civic level are getting involved in politics is so they can get fucking rich. <laughs> yeah. That's the only reason they're there. I don't care if they're on the parks board... The school board, you pick a board. They're on it so that they can get connected and they can get lots of dough. Right. Because they're the only the chalk they're the board. only kind of people that want to be on boards. Oh, yeah. Shuffle right? shuffleboard. Yeah. Their argument though, their their argument for paying so much is that, well, if we don't pay them, we're gonna lose them to the private sector and they'll go and work for Walmart or whatever. Oh, well. But is there a shortage of CEOs or something? Like is that really a big thing well. where you know there's not not enough competent people to run them or something? Penny like Ballum was a biologist. I'm not too sure yeah. what we're gonna lose her to the aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, really? Like, come on. I don't this buy is that a argument. Scam. A total scam of these people just sucking as much money out of us as they possibly can yeah. in the short time that they're near the money. Uh, right? Running for civil politics is just another w term for getting near the money. Let's get close yeah. to the dough. Now it sucks. Now they've come out and they're bantering about the idea that there's only going to be 20 dispensaries. Or they're only going to they're going to whittle it down to 20 dispensaries, right? They're going to find out which ones are all owned by the fucking Hell's Angels, and they're going to give them the 20 dispensaries. Or maybe they have yeah. to give the rival bike gang some too, <laughs> right? <laughs> they're going to divide right? up. out of the hundreds and. hundreds there's 108. How many exist now? How many dispensaries exist here now, Jared, do you think? Well, there's 100 there 120 like, now? Yeah, but they got over 200 applicants. Right, so everybody wants Which in. Which is weird, right? Yeah. It's like, because people are, you know, there's at least double the amount that have. Huh. Uh. Yeah, but now everyone and their cat and dog has to fucking own a dispensary. Well. Like yeah. But, I mean, well, I, they've, I do they've got 180 that they're going to say they want to get rid of 160 for no apparent reason, right? So that's an awful lot of whittling down, and I'm not too sure what the criteria might be so stringent to get rid of 160 applicants, right? How, how are you going to decide? That's a very f small number compared to the numbers who want to be involved. So... What are you going to investigate them all? Go, oh, no, you're uh, Hell's Angels. You can't have a license, right? Or you're, uh, it's all fucking Well, that's what bullshit. they're trying to say, actually. And the weird thing, when this Carrie Jang comes out, the city councilor in this um, BC Municipalities Forum, this is where he said his latest comments about there only being 20 dispensaries left after they're done. He said uh, that the ones they've been going after to shut down are the ones that are linked to organized crime, or have been dealing to kids. But none of that has ever been proven in court. Well, they They're would have advanced on them legally through the police already if these were the people that were... Do why would they be sitting there selling to children or being right. involved in organized crime right now waiting for their application to be dealt with? Why wouldn't the police go in there and arrest them? It would not be good. <laughs> They're going to whittle them out and find out. Ah, it's such horseshit. No, These it people make should sense. be banned really? from fucking doing anything. Should get rid of city councillors. We don't need them anymore. We don't have to vote on picking up the garbage or fucking filling potholes. Everybody knows how to do that. I know. Like, Unplugging we, like, sewers. They're like, they like we're a bunch of fucking retards. No, nah, they're fucking ripping us off is what they're doing. Losers. Yep. Right? They're just ripping us off. So That's fuck what government them, does. Fuck them. We'll get back to them like in a, a minute. Just want to say that a lot of us might be going out to Saskatoon for the Prairie Cup that's Toon coming up. Down. Yeah. Really? I don't know. Where's that? You're going? When is it? October. I October. Next it's coming October. up in next weekend. Two yeah, weekends. Not this weekend, but the one after. Yeah. 
That's that's quite possible. Like, yeah. October second to fourth or fifth. No, October my parents. My parents are in town October fourth. So, Jeff uh, Lundstrom and the gang out in Saskatoon have been kind enough to uh, kick down. I think fly a bunch of us out that's there. Right. Jody and Mark are going right. Yeah. And Jeremiah will be there. I know a whole bunch of the gang from Vancouver. So. That's first weekend in October in Saskatoon. Check it out at uh, Prairie Cup. Sask Prairie Cup. Looking yep, forward Sask to it. Prairie I've Cup never been to it. So CA is the website. Appreciate those folks being so generous. Jeff's to, such uh, a fucking awesome guy. There. He is, man. He really if anybody is. else is going to be in town, look us up. We'll have uh, some And his fun. cup, I think, is the friendliest cup of all of them. It makes you feel like you're part of the family. The venue is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Everybody gets together in one place, and we have all of the stuff there. Out of... I make you all feel of like the, that. All of the <laughs> entry baggies. We can have a fucking Kush cup at my house. That's <laughs> true. You too. A tea cup. <laughs> A Kush D cup, you could call it. <laughs> the, the D cup, yeah. <laughs> Only you knew it wasn't even the Kush the queen. Cup. Yeah, I know the numbers, but it's far, far yeah. beyond. But that's okay. I, I know the letters, but they can't Do relate you? to those. <laughs> no, nor could we, right? Remember? Yeah, I, mean, I, I can't. Well, we don't. We don't have a clue about any of that. We just <laughs> there's just hear there. That. Yeah, that's, guys that's just one see you something hear, big so. and it's like D. That's a D. (laughs) 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 We uh, we're just thrilled that they're anywhere near us. (laughs) (laughs) No kidding. (laughs) So that was a good joke, I gotta say. So we got a couple of friends actually in here from Saskatoon today. Mark and Sebastian. Jameson. Hola. Um, They're all they're in been watching our show for a long time big fans and uh, awesome. they're here visiting from Saskatoon now so oh yeah yeah how many times have i heard that <laughs> <laughs> don't test it with your finger all righty then Does so dab stick? <laughs> yes <laughs> i'd like to smoke some butter king butter just kidding <laughs> 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 Nice work. <laughs> Available exclusively one. at. <laughs> Got to slip those shameless plugs in. Right? That's allowed. We'd love to slip in shameless plugs. <laughs> yeah, if yeah. You've got a <laughs> send, send favorite us, thing to do. Send us your kick-ass products, yeah. and we'll plug it shamelessly. If plug you've got shamelessly. something shameless, you need plugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and who doesn't? Today's show brought to you by knives. <laughs> 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 Children's knives. So I can just put it right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right on that, right on just the nail part. Slab it right, on right on the nail part, though. Like here? Wait. What? Yeah, just on that little post. Oh, okay. Now, That's what's going on in the news elections, of course, in Canada? Sweeping along, sweeping along. What, there's an election going on? <laughs> yeah. What? Come on. <laughs> it's, in, it's in French, though. <laughs> oh, it's a French election. Yeah, it's only in French. I vote that French gets to stick around. No, it's um, silly nonsense that they yak about. I don't get to politicians. They're all cut from the same cloth, yeah, these people. Sure. They all think they need to play this political game of, uh, of offering really us stoned. stuff that doesn't mean anything to me, right? These infrastructure Ooh, ideas stanky. that they have and these uh, lofty billions of dollars that they're throwing around and want to dedicate to things... Like, really? This is such fucking nonsense. Why doesn't somebody just be honest with me? You know? Just really straight up be honest and just say... Just be honest. You know, like, if I was, uh, if I was running against Three, Stephen Harper, two, my, my platform would be, look at the guy. Look at the way he talks to you. Look at the way he treats you. He won't take fucking answer. He won't take questions from the press while he's working. He won't tell you anything. He's getting rid of science. He's getting rid of environment. What more do you need to say to get rid of that guy? And why do I need to say... Fuck Harper. Fuck well, Harper. Fuck him. Fucking asshole. Fuck Harper. He's a fucking asshole. And if, if I'm Justin Trudeau or even Tom Mulcair, and I, I don't want to be Tom Mulcair. <laughs> Nobody wants to be Tom Because I'd have Mulcair. to use my hand like this. <laughs> he's got all... He's been practicing in front of the mirror with his little hand stuff. What is that? Right? It's what is that Tai Chi, I think. That, what, what, what I think was that? Like yeah, really. Well, he's that a tai was, yeah, fucking master. close. That was me practicing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> no, no, that's like so. that's like 
full That's on Greg's sign special language. Touch. He's, he's having a he's having a whole other <laughs> message yeah. as he's talking to it's people. <laughs> I thought it was kind of his, like, the one-inch punch thing that he, he's just, yeah. you know. I like Bruce Lee. Yeah. I like Bruce Lee. I like Bruce Lee. <laughs> Gee, kung fu grip. <laughs> but if I'm Tom O'Care or Justin Trudeau, why the fuck do people demand that I have it all worked out, all figured out how I'm going to dot this I and cross that T and make this law and change Happy all 420! Oh, fuck. Yeah. Happy 420! Twizzle. Happy 420. <laughs> Had to interrupt. Yeah, yeah. Pass me a letter there, Mr. Marijuana Man. So, like, it's or just Mr. such Please. nonsense, them talking about the budget. Like, it actually yeah. fucking matters to me. Come mm-hmm. on. The, the Canadian dollar has just slipped again against the U.S. dollar. And they don't even fucking mention that on the news. They don't even mention <laughs> this shit. These people are lying. I watch the news every morning to listen to their lies. And they are so deceptive and deceiving. And they push you in any way that they want to. Syrian refugees, for fuck sakes, they have not in all these weeks that those refugees have existed told me why they have left Syria. Not once. Not one piece of information about that. Because we're fucking bombing them. Canada is bombing them. That's why they're leaving. And I found an article today written by Robert Fisk, who is a uh, 35-year veteran of journalism in the Middle East, saying that this is fucking insane and that they should abandon this nonsense. They are not effective at all at attacking ISIS. They're bombing that country because they want to. They need to bomb something, so that's what they're doing, right? So, perpetual war. The joint's getting a little small. Big Daddy Pot. There's a. Would if you there's like nothing, some there's another big. <laughs> vigor, yeah, here's a new. Is anyone sharing one. with you? Uh, yes, no. Janice was sharing. Okay, good. Janice is nice. Yes. She's Janice, but she can get Janine joint. really Janice. quick. <laughs> so, ah. watch out. And That's no funny. country will take these people. <laughs> All of the countries who are bombing them should take them. Right? Hi, Carla well, Marley. <coughs> Carly's leaving town. <laughs> I know. I'm right? like, like what's in this? You bring us some you hash. You know, you remind me what? of like a modern day um, sound of music when she's like <laughs> on her way, you know, and she's <laughs> just singing that song. She just gets off the bus. And I love that movie, so it's a compliment. (laughs) She looks like she stepped back in time. Nice. Hell yeah. Photo shoot. Here's another interesting thing I ran into. Interesting, I don't know, Hillary Clinton. See, here's the deal. Here's what I think. Fucking uh, Trump was a set-up clown for Hillary Clinton. Mm. He was going to clown, 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 clown. He was going to piss off Bush, and he was going to get in all the Republicans' faces, and he's going to get all the press. They're going to get none, and then Hillary Clinton's going to come out with fucking hardball shit and win the election. She came out today with a little hardball stuff. Hillary Clinton calls for Canada-U.S.-Mexico climate change plan. Now... If anyone would ask me what we would like to change about the climate, I'd like to switch with Mexico. I'd like to get a little right. warmer, maybe a little more humid. Yeah, we could yeah. flip the United I States. I would say that too, but I don't know if our fucking province can handle it. Look at the summer that we just had. Yeah, like we're all up in fucking flames. That's oh why yeah, they say a little it. more it's humid. It's a fucking joke. Mexico Humanity doesn't have. Humanity is just burning its own fucking province down. Yeah, like me- Mexico though they don't. Ninety percent of those fires were freaking. Man started, and the How other half kn- were from the weather. <laughs> How do you know that? Lightning and shit, but fuck. Well, that's what, what they said. <laughs> Who said? They. They, You always yes. have to listen to they. <laughs> Never listen to they. Well, It's come on. true, though. It's Honestly, not, it's true. I well, see people flicking their freaking cigarette butts everywhere and not being smart, leaving campfires going, still smoldering, whatever it is that causes the fire. It's just, it's sad. I would love to say that I yeah. would like to have weather like Mexico, but I don't even think this place can fucking Yeah, but Mexico it. doesn't have any trees. Yeah, so, so okay, let's just to, burn down our to burn province down. and then we'll be like Mexico. That sounds like a great fucking <laughs> idea. Sorry. No, you're making me want to have a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 
Well. By the way, I'm five months strong of not oh, smoking cigarettes nice still. Nice work. Wow. Woo -woo. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't even Fantastic. crave them anymore. I drink and don't crave them. And there you go. I'm two weeks into not breathing outside. <laughs> what? <laughs> Doesn't breathe the outside air again. anymore. What? He's I'm off outside air. Two weeks into not breathing oh. outside. He quit cold turkey. <laughs> hey? <Just laughs> because of Volkswagen. Hey? Yeah. Don't you hold your breath now and a Volkswagen wow. goes by you? Yeah? Wow. That Holy one is a fucking liar. Wow. I can't the believe the gall you of know these the guys. Story. You broke the story, for Christ's sakes. I wonder Kush how. Kush Queen herself. All of has the never environmentalists owned a feel that have bought I have never owned a Volkswagen, this is true, status. but I have driven one. Huh? <laughs> I said, I wonder how all the environmentalists feel that bought Volkswagens based on their environmental standards. A little uh, blue-faced. <laughs> <laughs> a little carbonized. A little, green, a little green faced No, No, it's sickness out there in the world, these fucks. And if Volkswagen's doing it, who else is Play doing the it? Line game. No kidding. Mm -hmm. well, Everybody's was, doing it. Yeah. It was so sneaky that they, they made the computer that tested the, well, when you were testing it for emissions, the computer would put out less emissions only when it was being tested. <laughs> and when you weren't being tested, it would go back to being full again. And actually, it was 40 times the national standard that those cars were putting out. Oh, yeah. Brutal. Just yeah. brutal. And... You know, uh, the morning that they broke the story that this had been found out, you go, oh, yeah, well, the CEO is going to get fired. Next day, he gets fired. And then they, everybody on the planet is suing them. <laughs> yeah. So, He's probably going to go to jail. Oh, they all should go to jail, these fucks. You know, they, they usually don't go to jail, no. but one that did just the other day, the head of the Peanut Corporation of America received... I think it was some ridiculous, like 62 years or something in jail, or was a sentence. I'm pretty sure the guys that invented PVC went to jail. Oh, really? Huh? This guy allowed, his company allowed a box of tainted peanuts with salmonella to go out on the market, and they gave him, he was facing 800 years in prison or something for what? it. And they actually, yeah, they ended up putting him in jail, or he's wow. now got a sentence in jail Crazy. sentence. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of brutal. Yeah, it, it was a particularly bad one because seven people died from salmonella because of that box of peanuts that they, I guess they had known about and just said, oh, well, or whatever. It seems crazy to me, but well, hopefully. I, I don't know. I thought it was one of the new flavors. <laughs> yeah, salmonella okay. flavor the peanuts. Honey delicious. roasted salmonella. <laughs> Dry peanuts. roasted salmonella. Right. <laughs> Kill everyone. I thought it was. Don't worry salmon. about your allergies, huh? I thought it was vanilla salmon. Yeah. <laughs> Contains vanilla no. salmon peanuts. <laughs> that's fucking delicious. Well, the peanuts I buy, I always look for that little symbol. Contains no salmonella. I look right. for the one that contains no peanuts, and it's ha so hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like impossible. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> well, they're. Uh, Yay! Yeah. Finally, that fucking white horse guy has been banned. Yeah. He's I annoying. Got Troublemakers in the chat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, was that Valley Boy? Like, Probably. Uh, I got his real name. So, Ooh. Hillary. <laughs> tell us. No. Hillary Clinton uh, is coming out, and she's against the pipeline, the uh, Keystone XL. And is also kind of hinting towards uh, alternate <laughs> forms of energy. And also is slamming Canada for its fucking filthy tar sands, which is good <laughs> for our election, I think. So she's coming out uh, blazing now and sounding like she's fucking in charge, which is good. I like it. You know, and they'll be blazing. But uh, <laughs> not that it matters. <laughs> not that it matters. They're all wicked uh, as the day is long, but... Uh, We'll see where Hillary ends up. She's going to make saying things illegal. Yeah. yeah. You know, I I almost don't know who I would rather have, though. Trump or Do Clinton. I mean, Trump, me man, how would you fuck fuck bullshit. Have Any of these okay. people, like, I mean, it doesn't really any matter Republicans are I'm brutal Canadian. except Rand Paul. Rand Paul probably would be the best at all of them. Who? But Rand Paul, Ron Paul's son, he's yeah. the best of the Republicans for sure. But he'd definitely be better than Clinton, too. And nah, Trump's let's nuts, put, but... Let's put fucking Trump up there. Yeah. I don't... Trump the chump? I'd like to see Trump. 
Trump as president? Well, yeah, it'd be a lot Clinton's funnier. Clinton's the same as Bush yeah, or the same as any of these guys. Yeah, funny though. administration of Trump, Trump as president, president would be it would be better than The Apprentice. It oh, would no. be humorous. And I watched The Apprentice lots. It would be comical if the whole country was great. Man. See, the thing about Trump is with, he can't with, be controlled. With yeah. Arnold as his right? running oh, man. Like, come on. Well, there are some people in uh, Vermont yakking about maybe building a wall between the <laughs> what hair them can be and giant? The <laughs> you mean his toupee? <laughs> building a wall like between Trump Vermont and we're building a wall to keep Trump out of Vermont. <laughs> yeah, they'll just keep <laughs> for the rest of eternity. People just throw Trump back and forth over that wall. You're no, no, you keep him. No, no, you keep him. We don't want him. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so that uh, Trump He's will like build Justin his Bieber. wall to Mexico Nobody and we'll wants throw him, him over it. <laughs> so, yeah, never a dull moment in the fucking circus of the United States. It is just a fucking gong show. I can't watch their news. Honest to God, I can't. I've tried to switch to CNN in the morning. I can't. It is fucking sad, sick bullshit. Yep. The most beautiful women you've ever seen presenting the news. Like, really, these supermodels are presenting the news to me. Yeah, but know, and the, the slant they put on things, this? though, is so caveman. You know, like it, when oh, you yeah. watch these people and their Republican opinions, it makes you bullshit. feel like they are totally out of touch with reality. Oh, yeah, Especially it's like they all live in Alaska. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah it's bizarre. Pen it's pals. Like and you can tell they're pandering to a certain part of the American crowd, and it's a part of the American like population that probably, I mean, if you're trying to be sensible, you don't try and appeal to these guys. It's like the guys watching wrestling and everything, right? Yeah. It's like that. Cra- you can really tell that CNN is going for that crowd. Same with Fox. Fox is all a lot the of ultimately highly, terrible. It's crazy news coverage. And CTV, Same. CBC, they're not too much different, really. They're trying, in their own Canadian way, all news in the morning on both CTV and CBC are presented to me by women. Not that I have anything against that. I find it a little unusual, though. All right? They're trying to soften this stuff and, uh, all right, make you feel okay about yeah. the horrible shit they're telling you and the lies that they're weaving in behind it. But um, speaking of pandering, <laughs> there's a new publication that uh, was released on Tuesday. and uh, from, it's from Pander, Pander Press? Yeah, new publication targets highbrow marijuana smokers. Highbrow. Like my eyebrows? Like yeah, yeah. I no, just... Just looking at them. They don't look extra high to me. Oh, you can't see. I got a two cup. No, I mean, obviously he's not. No, yeah, I got. He's no, not using his brows. Right he, that's the, he's got the leaf brow. <laughs> Everybody here's got been on there for days. Brows. I think I've got normal eyebrows. No. Um, this was launched. It's a, it's a publication called Civilized. <laughs> right? Targeting professionals who happen to enjoy marijuana. <laughs> right? Oh, Founder yes. and publisher... Derek likens it to a high-end editorial destination for highbrow marijuana smokers. What a bunch of sure shit, Derek. <laughs> I'm very like suspicious of anybody who calls anything that they have high-end. <laughs> right? No, this I is got, from I a guy I who... got some high-end right here, man. Yeah. Oh, it's high-end. Or pro-style. That's another That's one, too. Oh, pro it's Cannabis style. Aficionado <laughs> magazine. High-end. Right? These are construction. Together. Yeah. High-end pro-style really yeah. construction. Pa- That's where the... That, uh, <laughs> right? That sublimator, I'll take a pro-style uh, who to some high-end uh, <coughs> construction. It's just like when people... <laughs> when any of these companies come out and make the claim that yeah, they're the, micro- the next Microsoft yeah. of marijuana or Yeah, whatever. they make claims about yeah, what they're going to be rather than... And then they than disappear the next dis- week and you never hear exactly about them. That's exactly right. Yeah. Now, they're going to be publishing stories and content not unlike Cigar Aficionado of magazines. Course, of course, Although with a broader lifestyle focus. It's not about slackers on the couch. It's for people who consume to relax. We should. Huh? Where well, do, they, all where the other do these consumers are relax? Slacker on the couch magazines. Yeah, you're I pro- keep reading those every time I pick up a High Times. It's like, how to slack on the couch. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they're saying that at the same time, it's for people who consume to relax. Isn't that what a. Slacker is doing on the couch is relaxing. Where do your people relax on a fucking like a hard 
pine <laughs> stool, straight a straight back chair is that your target audience of people that are have really good posture? Yes. No. <laughs> they consume to relax, be creative or social with friends. So no other pot smokers other than your professional nignogs do this. They're not creative and they're not social with their friends. Only if they're highbrow. Sure. Oh, I would love one. Yeah. Thank you. And that was quite a nice puff you just took there, too, by oh. the way. He said, in most other cannabis-centric publications, what he really meant to say was high-end. <laughs> the low-end cannabis really publications. He says that millions of people are underrepresented and misrepresented. Well... Here's why that is, Derek. It's because it's illegal, you dork. Don't you get it? You people are un underrepresented because you're afraid to come out of the closet because it's illegal. Sure, whatever it is you're offering. Butter King Butter. <laughs> oh, no, thanks. No. <laughs> yeah. I, I tease. Um, I don't know. Then he says it's going to be more like that Harper's awesome. rather than High Times. Mm. More like and I suggest than high that. Times. Oh, jeez. In the near future, Harper's Magazine will change their name to keep, keep Wish We Had Never Called Ourselves Harper's Magazine. <laughs> no kidding. Not that Harper. Yeah. So Harper's. Harper's unaffiliated. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sorry, no relation. Really. It's like the Hitler Magazine, how it went out of fashion so quickly. That's the funniest thing. After. <laughs> yeah, I had to get rid of my subscription to Hitler magazine right after, you know, 1945. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he dropped out of like, sight. Whoa, got to cancel this one going through emails. <laughs> yeah. And that, that was actually was, the lesser known Hitler, Jake. Yeah, exactly. It was actually Jake. about, I, the, the magazine was actually about horses, though, so. Jake, you know, Jake it's Hitler. <laughs> equestrian thing. Look out for him. <laughs> so. Jake. <laughs> yes, set. Civilized plans to deliver cannabis culture elevated. You guys are uh, getting an elevator? We should sue them for using the word cannabis culture <laughs> to begin with. So, I went to their sh to their page and it's fucking sad. It's one of the most like it's just a lame cut and paste. Nothing. There's a. There's barely anything really about marijuana other than what I read on Google the same day. Not. Cannabisculture.com. For God's sakes. No, but I don't know. What are these people thinking? They're just. They all think that uh, they need to do something better, fit in, find their money. Here's what he said too. He said, uh, stories will be free to all and eventually ad supported. Though Derek is open to change. One, once we pass launch, we'll determine exactly how to monetize it. That's what he said. He never once said, and nowhere on his page they ever say the word legalize, legalization. There's no indication that we should. They're pretending and going forward with their little civilized launch like it is legal and that they're going to flourish in this wonderful new industry that is, doesn't exist. Holy fuck. People are nuts. This yeah. is the influence of media, right? This is the influence of only reading headlines, right? They just make you think that it's this way. Oh, I thought it was legal. <laughs> right, because all the headlines I saw. I never read a story. So what else do they believe because all the headlines? When you're out there looking at the news, just look at the headlines to see where they're trying to get you to go. Right? Because the headline very rarely ever follows into the story. The story always ends up saying, hey, the headline you just read, meh, it wasn't true. It's actually That's bogus headline. totally fucking yeah. true. Totally true. I got suckered in again. I do, oh, I'm desperate. They woke up from their, from their death again? <laughs> yeah, I got sucked in by Fucking one of those assholes. little side things. Yep. Just, it was, it, it, what did it say? It said uh, 19 photos of people you won't believe were photoshopped. 
No, I avoided it for a number of days, but from a creative point of view, I thought, well, maybe I'll learn something about Photoshop. So I go and click on it, and there wasn't one fucking picture about it. Again. It had a picture of Justin Bieber, and the same picture of him, and they said, no, he wasn't Photoshopped. And then there was the next picture, they went, no, no Photoshop there. And then a picture of Beyonce on Vanity Fair, and they went, well, lots of Photoshop there. And you go, what a lame fucking thing. And they've dragged me through three pages now to get to this shit. Like, yeah. oh my fucking God, it's horrible, horrible crap. You cannot count on any of those sidebars to offer you anything. Except some deceptive lead to buying a Dodge pickup. A bunch of bullshit. <laughs> and then having it recalled. Jody. How long does it take to smoke a joint? Because I have set my timer on this joint. I saw you light it. And I'm curious <laughs> what you think. Is it five minutes, ten minutes? How long does it take for it a joint to get smoked? Me and him let's see, let's Four see minutes, go. 20 seconds. I got to okay, think. Well, I got a timer. So let's see. Well, is that right? It, it, it all depends on the, the resin content, I think. I was uh, in how a Titus situation rolls, once. How, how greasy the weed is. All of that, I think. I was in it at uh, Vancouver Seed Bank had their monthly party in the backyard one time and uh, they were having a bong hitting contest and you had to hit a good sized fucking bit of weed in the bong during the contest so I had just rolled the joint as that person was about to light their bong so I said okay well I'm going to race you with my joint and smoke this joint like they had to huff on this thing quite a few times to get through it all right so but I found, well, I started smoking this joint really, really hard. The harder I smoked, the faster it would burn this way, right? I was quite surprised, actually, how quickly it went down. And we finished it about the same time. Yeah. So. I don't know. I think for me, sometimes it depends on the mood I'm in. Sometimes I smoke, like, like first thing in the morning after I, well, like, if I haven't smoked all night, <laughs> I'm smoking really fast in the morning. That joint's gone, and I'm like, oh, I want to roll another one. Like, I want two in the morning, you know? But after all day long, like, working and smoking all day, and I'm driving home with my joint, fuck, sometimes I only get halfway through of 40 minutes. It's like, oh, look at it, and it's still this freaking big. <laughs> so... Yeah. So, that's uh, same with me. 16 huh. minutes. Nah. 16 minutes. 16 minutes, 16 seconds. So, there was a former U.S. prosecutor here in B.C. telling us that we could legalize marijuana. Tanya, just want to say thanks for the, thanks for the permission there, Tanya it's okay with you for us to wow. legalize marijuana. That was nice of her. That really yeah. was. Like, who the Tanya fuck? That's approval. the stupidest thing, There's really. There's not too many prosecutors that would go, you know, go and do that for people. Former U.S. prosecutor. And she oh. was also part of the uh, bunch that did uh, Yes on I-502. <laughs> but it's kind of interesting. Like, really, how the, the entire room went, duh. <laughs> Like, really, Tanya? No, we can't just legalize marijuana. It's a federal issue, and we don't have any access provincially to make any changes whatsoever. Have you not read Canadian law and, uh, and Canadian par parliamentary procedure? <laughs> it's not like the states. And, of course, we should, I think is what it did. It might have said. B.C. should legalize marijuana, says for me, not could. She says, oh, yes, you can. Like, really, come up here from Washington State. Sure you can. Just do it. Fuck off. Just, just do so it. Look what you people had to go through, even though you have a dem democratic legal system to be able to do it. Look what you had to go through. Oh, no, you can do it. Silly. To, and people actually went to some forum for her to say that, too. Come on. <laughs> These, it's very childish the way that things are going here, and I don't She's know. She's dumb. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> <to> you lady. <laughs> Again, though, it's the double-edged sword of what we have to live with is at least somebody saying that you should or could or you might, and it's a high-profile person who used to be a 
I guess that's important, a U.S. prosecutor. Ooh. U.S. prosecutor. <laughs> no, it's sad. But here's a fun story, a good story. There is a chemical in marijuana that chills out anxious dogs. <laughs> oh, anxious dogs. Anxious dogs. Jack Russell Terriers. Chihuahuas. <laughs> but uh, listen to this name. His owner... <laughs> Christian Yanana, <laughs> Christian Yana, Jimenez, <coughs> a student and retail employee who lives in the Bronx. Good name. She'd fractured her ankle, and since then, her dog sat anxiously or paced like a man waiting for his child to be born. Right? Is very like anxious. the author of the article. No, it no, could no. be a regular night, Jimenez says, and Ichigo was bugging out. Anxious. Yeah, anxious. Extremely anxious. But you named the dog Ichigo. Well, it's kind of an anxious name. Well, yeah. yeah just by saying Ichigo, you, the dog's going to be like, where? where? Well, where? how do where? you think a dog named Ichigo is going to be? It's not a, it's like a dog like, you know. Brutus. Yeah. Brutus. Brutus? Slower. Yeah. <laughs> Larry? Slow. That's not Larry. an excited dog. Larry? No. Larry. Larry. Come on, That's Larry. Cute. Let's go. Larry. Was it Jake? Right. <laughs> Wait, that it's was a go. Jake. Leave Larry alone. Jake Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> it's a go. Sit down. Yeah, it's a go. Sure. It's a go. Yeah, no, it's shouldn't have named him It's a go. It's a hyperactive name. But anyway. It sounds like a foot powder. <laughs> yeah. She took It's a go to a, vet, yeah. a veterinarian. From the makers of It's a gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She took him to the vet named Dr. Katz. <laughs> oh, you don't take a dog to Katz. Uh -oh. Big oh mistake again. God. You Take called the <laughs> dog to <laughs> Katz. That's just wrong. ridiculous. No wonder the dog's anxious. But Dr. Katz recommended uh, sprinkling a formula containing a cannabidol or a CBD, mm. a chemical that's found in marijuana and... Industrial hemp. That's really good. How long, Jody? Not in the recreational hemp. Really? That's it? A new kind of dog oh. nip. Yep. Seven minutes and 20 seconds yeah. took for me now to smoke that joint. There you go. Sorry to interrupt. So beat that. <laughs> not <Just> bad. <laughs> now, this CBD... New to me, I don't know, I've never heard of it. What is Chemical that? found in marijuana and in industrial hemp, not in the recreational hemp that we're all getting hooked on. Mm -hmm. Is that a kind of dog? No, he, he sprinkled CBD? this over Ichigo's food, changed his <laughs> name. Nochi? You know the yeah. potato thingies? They're really funny. <laughs> Since Ichigo then, Jimenez <laughs> says that Ichigo's pacing has stopped and his focus has returned. Yep. Mm. Huh? So he's focused. In yeah, addition to working as high. a vet, Katz is an elected member. Oh no, he recently teamed up with uh, Dixie Elixirs, one of the more prominent cannabis brands in Colorado. <laughs> Dixie <laughs> Elixirs just don't say it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> to create <laughs> Therabus. A line of pet dietary supplements containing CBD. Huh. Cool. Right? Wow. But to be very, very clear, there is no euphoria. Oh. The animals should not be allowed to have any fun. Fluffy, fluffy is not going to get high, they say. Right. Cookie smoked a joint in five minutes. Yeah. He beat us. Yeah, he beat us. He beat us? Yeah. High five, Cookie. <laughs> Yeah, right well, there. there you go. Sorry, guys. Sorry to interrupt again. Yeah, five minutes for cookie. All right. Ichigo could have smoked that joint in Ichigo. 38 seconds. No kidding. That fucking crazy hyper dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's got too much THC in it, though. It just needs a CBD. But with enough CBD from Dixie Elixirs. You know, CBD is derived from industrial hemp, a marijuana-like plant. I see it is. going around over there. It you is know, a marijuana-like plant. I guess 
Scooby Doo. Well, CBD is not illegal. I like the It is in Canada. <laughs> the Controlled Substances Act bans the growing of hemp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So num, companies num, selling it in the U.S. tend to import it from Europe. <laughs> wow, candies have yeah, the CBD, candy. not the hemp. So Yummy gummies. Mm. <laughs> Yummy gums. <laughs> so here's sour gummies. Ooh, I love them. <laughs> candy break. Oh, I'll have a candy. I love them. I love candy. Thank you. What's going on? Oh, here's an interesting. I predict that uh, marijuana is going to be legal by the end of uh, by by January. By ja- by the end by of the January. By the Super Bowl, I think it'll be legal by Super Bowl. Really? Yeah, in the United States. And here's why. There's a growing body of evidence that shows that football players, especially ones who repeatedly smash their heads at things. <laughs> Who repeatedly use their head to hit one another can eventually mm. develop a brain disease called chronic, chronic traumatic, <laughs> chronic traumatic encephalopathy. It's synonymous with concussions. Yes. It's a protein chronic. that develops in the in the brain, uh, not M A O S A O, no T A O. It's a T A O protein, oh. and it develops in the brain, and it can cause uh, dementia and all kinds of crazy shit. Football well. kills. Leading researchers studying have been studying the brains of deceased football players. Wow. Oh, I was thinking of the 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 disease. No, the disease that the grandma has in the visit. That's what I was just thinking of. Like Dementia. Pop, pop and stuff. <laughs> no, it's like shadow something or whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> she runs around naked, scratching the walls, and when the moonlight comes out, I don't know. Well, yeah, she, was a, she was a football Evil player. dead. No. So, so they so are they giving weed to to, to football no. players or what? No. No. But they're suggesting that they should because <laughs> they've also found that marijuana is good for brain injury. I love you, Janice. It is. The brain. Right. Fucking right. It they is. So should. this is why I predict that it will be legal by, like, if I'm going to start a campaign, legalize marijuana or football gets it. Yeah. <clears throat> they right? should. If they ban football, it'll yeah. just push it into the hands of organized gangs of football players, though. You know, like well, the, see, this you is, know, yeah, okay, the no, no, no. This gangs. is how they're going to offset. Okay, when they legalize marijuana, they're going to need something else. You know, they're going to need it. They're going to the need cops, another demon yeah. so they can demonize football. Yeah, that actually. No, they're going to turn on. I'd the be church. willing to make that trade. Football prohibition. Fuck? Yeah, football prohibition. <laughs> or, no, you know what? Full contact football, so the the NFL will be tag. It'll be tag <laughs> football. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Tonight on the Concussion Network. <laughs> concussion <laughs> Net. Bang your head. With your host, Rock head em, smash. Sock 'em hockey. Yeah, if uh, if NFL football's in uh, in jeopardy at all. They're going to legalize marijuana in our feed. But for real, if you if you smashed your head around, a um, little bit of cannabis, a little bit of um, cubensis, mushrooms, that is. Mm-hmm. Um, take, like, less than a quarter gram every night for 30 days and uh, a- after your concussion, and that'll help, uh, that'll help reset you. It uh, repairs neural pathways and all kinds of shit. I always thought true fucking they should... Shit. That it would be a lot more. Every day. It'd be easier and more exciting to watch sports if they gave them Cubenzies and other things before they went out on the field. Well, I was I, thinking. I was thinking like the steroid LSD Olympics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the yeah. steroid. Yeah, acid Olympics. So, that would so be you, cool. you allow yeah. people to wow. get super jacked on steroids and take give crazy performance-enhancing drugs. Yeah. But they got to be on acid. I like it. While they're doing the. It'd be much more watchable. Six thirty. I could shave two minutes off that easy. Can you ima- can you imagine? Can you imagine shot put? Yeah, I was hosting the show. It until it goes You'd have to watch it a while. You were yeah. just shot trying. Put, a steroid <laughs> shot put on acid would be fucking ridiculous. Be <laughs> like ah, pretty much any of the events oh would be hilarious. Oh yeah, I think they should allow everything. Anything goes in sports. These people are paid way too much money to be fucking nice to them. Come on, there should be. I've been watching baseball because the Blue Jays have been doing really well. 
But there should be little hazards and shit that pop up out of the field from time to time or, yeah. you know, something released into the field that they got to deal with. Maybe not farm, but maybe a wild oh, boar. Yeah, exactly. A wild boar. That Definitely. would be hilarious. Yeah, that'd be much I better. I think it would be funny. Hey? Yeah. Really? Just, just, like, let, just right? like let out 20 raccoons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, rabid <laughs> raccoons. It's like 20 raccoons, man. Here. Oh, I know, they can make <laughs> it a lot more interesting. There go the bunnies. It's always the same rules. <laughs> yes. He would have been oh out God. if it wasn't for and the then, bunnies then what, on what, that what one. What they could do is they could have a specialized Zamboni <laughs> that like cruises around the, the field and, and scoops up after up the place, scoops up all up the bunnies the or all the raccoons mm. or whatever, and then fucks like off. That. Or the dead or the fallen soldiers. Or the, yeah, whatever. Oh, that's cool, too. <laughs> yeah, Scoop or oh, the there'd be no bunnies. They used sure. to be able to like no flood the fields. Awesome. You know, they flood the stadium and then they bring in the boats and everything. I think they should do that like halfway through the game too. Like fill it with water and turn it into like an aquatic sort of fight. You know? Oh yeah, <laughs> combine more than one sport yeah, at a time. Go exactly. from baseball to floor hockey. <laughs> See, I always, I always thought it would be cool that in, in baseball, if the odd time the the ball actually blows up. When the batter hits it, so like they got to they got to know there's an extra obstacle. They got to know when when it's an explosive ball, and that's when you move. Mm-hmm. It's like Russian roulette. And, and baseball. it's like it's like hockey. I got a new idea for hockey where you get rid of you get rid of the uh, the puck and 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 the sticks, and it's called body check. And you got a little dude, <laughs> a, li- a little dude like you know maybe like a jockey, a, a jockey, an unemployed jockey. Right. And you put you put him you put him in a in a in a black suit. On speed skates, hockey jockey, and he's got a he's fucking. The puck. He's the puck. The team has to protect <laughs> this little guy. The team has to protect this little guy all the way across to the, to the other side where he jumps into the net. Ah, no goalies, but the, the, the whole thing is body check. So it's like it. the goal is to is to get your three hundred pound defense guys to just hammer this little dude. <laughs> Boom! Body check. Yeah. That sounds like he might have They're that way better than hockey. You just talked about Fuck that hockey shit, over. man. Bring Roller derby on ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could in- no, definitely invent a- some cool sports if they really got <laughs> creative. An interesting the story Stoner I read it from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. You don't say Dartmouth. No, it's Dartmouth. no, it's it, it's da- that Dartmouth. Could be another, Dartmouth. That could be another sport. No. Dart. No, that's Dartmouth. Dart. Dartmouth. You gotta catch him. Dart- so, Jesus crazy bay is Dartmouth. A man was arrested Monday night while walking on a Dartmouth street. Was in possession of hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of marijuana. Wow. Halifax Regional walking? Police. Just walking? Walking? What did he have a wagon or something? I know, I'm <laughs> like, pulling this wagon fuck? behind him. <laughs> now, this is uh, <laughs> all right. The Halifax Regional Police allege. I'm that right now, and it's all right. Scary. They allege that that was Constable Stacy said it is the street value. We're not going to give the quantity of how many grams or pounds, but we will say it was a significant amount of marijuana with a street value of two hundred and ten thousand dollars. Wow! <laughs> this Big guy bad. was walking me. along on the street. Yeah, like what the fuck? So. Two hundred and ten thousand dollars at ten bucks a gram. Even at fifteen, let's go. Well, ten's easier for the math for me, so that's twenty one thousand grams. But at fifteen it's four twenty an ounce. It's just cooler that way. <laughs> cooler yeah, that I way. know, but <laughs> <laughs> as still then. So twenty one thousand grams that he had on his person. That is like <laughs> that's that's not real. That's forty five pounds. All right. Yeah. That's possible. <laughs> right. You could fit that in a wagon. But he's walk along the street. <laughs> in Dartmouth, for sure. No. Con- Constable <laughs> Stacy said that, that was Stony. Stony, the neighborhood dealer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, sure. By tell me where you're at, says I can come to where you're too. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Yeah, I got that blueberry. <laughs> I got that blueberry. <laughs> sure, sure. It's fire by. How much do you want? 45 pounds? <laughs> you need 45 pounds? Here, I'll drop it to you at the corner. 
<laughs> now Constable <laughs> Stacy. The guy needed a gram, but Stony <laughs> Stony takes the, the whole stash in case he can sell Fuck. an extra eight. Yeah, you you got to take it all. <laughs> you can't just take an eighth. Constable Stacy said that she is aware that the street value would pique people's curiosity <laughs> about the, the amount, but they're not going to tell you what the amount was. <laughs> Just going to tell you the street value, Tune not the amount week. of marijuana. A bunch of people are going to go try and sell marijuana after eating that. <laughs> now, pol- the police, act they were acting on a tip when they arrested the man as he walked along the street, she said. <laughs> that guy's got weed in the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> I think that there's wagon like is full of weed. weed. That guy's got weed, weed in that wagon. wagon. Let's pull him over. There's just like a whole bunch of vacuum packed <laughs> sleeves stacked up on top of each, of each other with an elastic band. Oh, <laughs> just pulling it in the wagon. Like now, maybe cons- he, <laughs> he, he could have had a mule. <laughs> they didn't mention there was a wagon or a mule, a mule. involved. Const- just Constable Stacy. We're just Stacey. creating a, a scenario. Yeah. Constable I Stacy, see. though, she was a still scene. defensive here, and she said, "Police, you know, police don't normally make public the amount of drugs seized during a particular arrest." <laughs> she kept bringing that up, uh, but she it, said the amount. Of suspect. It's like it's somebody like filled their pockets. We don't want to tell you how much weed there was because we kind of want to keep some. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> so- <laughs> we sold the bunch already. That's, that's what that, that is. price, no kidding. Now, she said the amount in this case is quite the significant Caesar for sure. Yeah. She said. Okay, what, okay, okay wait. Okay, said for yeah. sure. For sure. For sure, for dude. Sure. Is there a however the amount in this case? No. No? All right. No. Suspect terminology, that stuff, you know. Now, Kendall, he was uh, charged with three counts of possession for the purpose of trafficking. Three counts of possession for the purpose of trafficking. What's that mean? He had two little people in his pocket. How could you be... <laughs> three <laughs> counts of possession of... <laughs> well, maybe he had other <laughs> maybe drugs. Maybe, so. may, maybe he's just not the smartest guy. He was like, so well, much. I was going to go sell 15 pounds to that guy and 15 pounds to that guy and another 15 pounds to that guy. Well, that's three counts. <laughs> we'll charge him at three counts. But uh, yeah, tri- maybe triplets? <laughs> maybe he just walked right in. He just admitted it. Yeah, I was going to sell it to three people. But he only was, he was charged with one count of possession of marijuana. <laughs> with, the, with the people's names on it. Well, I got a feeling out there in Dartmouth, they're not, uh, uh, got the brightest cops right. on the fucking. They thought it. That sounds like a, they, they start got some counting with fucking three shifty cops out Constable there. Stacy, send Stacy out to deal with the press. Eh? Well, yeah. you know, well, I know yeah. it piques your interest about how much there was, but we're not going to tell but you. But it was worth two hundred and ten thousand uh, dollars. Yeah, for because sure. then they can say, "Well, we're valuing it at twenty-five a gram. We're valuing it at you know." They can just fudge how much they actually actually value it at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. So I, 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 I can wow. so they could get high. I, I got busted years and years ago in Winnipeg and I got charged with half of the amount of weed that I had. And in my statement sheet <laughs> it says the informant in this case requested a reward, however we cannot divulge in what form the reward was taken. <laughs> <laughs> they gave the fucking rat half my weed. <laughs> oh, uh, like, yeah, I'll wrap my dealer up, but come on, man. He's my dealer. You got to give me half his weed. weed. <laughs> like, wow. You know, that's that's a, what a trade. It's like, what the fuck? So, Jesus. fuck you to whoever you were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's Gary Winslow. <laughs> Gary. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, oh my God. that's got to be uh, mm-hmm. just about it. That's it? Mm-hmm. So. Holy fuck, well, it's 5.03? I'm nice and high. What the fuck? Holy fuck, I got to go. My meter's flies. up. Where's my the, meter's up. Where's the Kush meters Queen has her own meter, and it's up. It's up. Yeah. Up like there. Really. Meter's up. <laughs> my meter's up. up. Can we we got to wrap this up. <laughs> Can we uh, just wrap it up? <laughs> Doggy bag. <laughs> um, yeah. We Work with me, people. Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck. 
All right. All well, right. Um, good of everybody to join us today in the chat and uh, on the other side of your screens and headphones. What's that? Mm -hmm. We uh, brought appreciate you by Starbucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why I'm so high. Yes, fuck you, Harper. Hey, if yeah. if, any, if anybody wonders what Gary does when we say, "Hey, Gary's here." <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, Gary. We should sell yeah, that have, poster like, in the store. Some of those to color? Is that what you have in your hand? I, no, this is good You're giving this to me? Ones. Oh yeah. Are, Woo! They like, are they like fuck Harper ones though? That's no, awesome. No fuck Harper coloring yet. Nice. I just found that randomly. I made that Gary Wintle is leaving in one, one week exactly. I want just what, everyone to what, say, what, what? Gary Wintle, I'm going to out you on Pod TV. He's leaving. Oh. Gary Wintle, he's still working for us, but he's not going to be in Vancouver, so you won't see this pretty face for a while. Say hi. He's going to be traveling around. <laughs> having well, hopefully no dangerous dictatorships see this video of me <laughs> smoking right. weed. But ISIS is watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> As opposed to the safe dictatorships. <laughs> Benevolent <laughs> dictator. <laughs> <laughs> the Harper. <laughs> well, safe travels, Gary. I'm hungry. Um, yeah, thanks to everybody else who joined us, Al and Kush Queen. Thanks for having us. And yeah, Jeremiah's thanks here. Me. Thanks for having me. Everybody as well. uh, else in the room, like Janice and Anne and Jody, yeah, and there's Willie time. and Kayla and Alyssa. I think I think we really nailed it this week. Like our, our our interruption rehearsal was a little shaky the other day, but <laughs> today I think we got it. We fucking yeah. nailed it. We nailed it. Yeah. Nailed. Yeah. Fucking right, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. No, that's all, that's <laughs> all we did. No, no. No, no, no. It's no, no. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's like it's a, no, that's all you do. <laughs> nailed it. Hey, L. <laughs> nailed it. Hand back down. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, join us. Uh, on Friday for Jer's show, four o'clock. Yes, we'll be CNN back. CNN Live. Yes. And Minus uh, one plus Opus one on Mondays, four o'clock with Carly. I think it's Carly with Opus. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some days. Some. Yep. And uh, oh, what do we got? Red Beard on the weekend on Saturdays. That's Tune right. Tune in for the glass blowing. Speaking of uh, a yes. new online store. There's a new online store to check out at uh, <laughs> cannabisculture.com backslash store. If I or cannabisculturehq.com. There you go. Cannabisculturehq.com. Support your cannabis paraphernalia collection and buy some fucking gear. Get paraphernalia. Yeah. Right on. So, um, cool. What else? And That's don't it. forget to vote and fuck Harper. Yay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless you're his wife. Then don't. <laughs> then cut him off. I deny then cut him. Off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I needed to say that. Right? <laughs> well, that it's guy kind of a given. <laughs> yeah. We won't even get into Harper. So um, yeah, we can go I'm uh, your host, uh, Big Daddy Pot. Join us next week uh, here. Peace and pot. See you next time. <laughs>